Okay, so now let's design the articles page. Uh, but before we do that, let's clean up uh, the files in the uh, blog homepage. So I'm just going to uh, drag and select these. I have the auto select layer uh, selected, and then I'm just going to hit Command G, uh, change that group name to About. Uh, do the same for the stuff I've written, Command G. Let's call this up uh, articles and the same for projects. Actually, I feel like, I think I might just mess that up. Let's uh, select it from this side. Okay, there we go. I accidentally selected some of the layers from the posts um, and grouped it with the projects. Okay, so now that that is done, let's select uh, those three and um, move it out of the header folder. We'll just go there, delete that extra about folder. All right, so those are good. Let's uh, hide those for now. Oh, whoops, this should be in the um, projects. All right. Now let's select the footer stuff, change the foot name to footer, bring it down below, and the header should be good. Beautiful. Now let's uh, add everything, or show everything again. Uh, save this, select OK. All right, and to begin on the articles page, let's do a save as, and let's call this articles page. So the first thing I want to do is uh, hit Option Command C and uh, let's add some height to this document. I'm going to hit the anchor and select the top center. Um, that way it grows from the bottom instead of from the middle, or it grows from the top down, I mean. And let's make it about uh, 3500. Alright, looks good. Now let's grab the footer content. and. Command T and let's just bring that stuff down. There we go. Now we have some room to work with. We got these uh, colors in case we need to use them. All right. So let's get rid of all of this stuff for now. And let's keep the text in case we want to use it. Uh, if we refer back to our mid fidelity wireframes, so we added a title and then another line and then everything else was centered. So what we will do is I will take this, let's center it, bring up the guides, command T and center that, bring it down a little bit. Then I'm going to grab the header line and bring that down or copy it and bring it down. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's just move these up out of the way for now. All right, so what's next? So everything else is going to be centered. So let's center it as well. Uh, I like the idea of keeping the consistency of this uh, blue break tag, or not break tag, um, this blue bar. So let's uh, keep that. I'm going to just use the, let's center it, the dates. Cool, and let's uh, delete that. So the name of this, let's say, let's first center it. What's the article I did? The do list, I believe, was one of them. And I wanna make that font a bit bigger. Make this slightly larger as well. And let's bring that down and then bring everything up. That looks pretty good. Now let's copy that a few times and see how we're looking. Let's change this to how do I learn X and strive for the uncomfortable. All right, so I like this. Uh, let's uh, copy all of these and duplicate it again just to um, 
act as if we have more than a few posts. So after this, the last thing we need on this page, if we refer back to our mid fidelity wireframe is the pagination. Uh, and then other than that, we are good to go. Um, but this is super clean and it's 100% focused on the content. So we got a little title explaining what this page is. Uh, and actually this would be stuff I've written. And then the date and the title. And if you clicked on that, you'd go to the show page. It's looking pretty good. So let's design what the uh, pagination would look like. So this, for this, I'm thinking it'd be pretty simple. Um, let's just have, you know, let's make a shape first. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and let's just make a square. And I'm going to select the color of this uh, blue bar right here. And then I will make it the same color as that. All right, so for this, let's bring it up in the layers panel and I'm just gonna say one. And then let's bring it on top. So obviously that color looks pretty bad. So let's change it to maybe a white. Um, and this would be for the current page that we are on. I feel like that text should be a little bolder. So let's try a bold font. That looks much better. And then we'd have a previous link. Let's change it to that gray color. Um, if there is no uh, previous page, there should it should be uh, grayed out and not active. And then for the other links, Let's say two and uh, next, let's make these the darker color. Maybe add a bit more space. And then this should be centered. So I could add more if I wanted. copy that and the space and then do three, do it again and do four. And then let's bring it out a bit and center this whole thing. Oops, that's not right. There we go, now we can center it all. And that looks pretty good. So for the current link, or the current page, uh, it would be highlighted with the blue background, and then the other pages would just be dark. If you hovered over them, we would change them to this uh, blue color. Uh, but we will do all of that within the actual code. So I'm just going to bring up the footer a bit, because we don't need it to be that low, and then I'm gonna crop the page up hitting C and bringing the bottom up. Then I'm going to select the pagination. Let's uh, group that, call this pagination. Uh, select all the text and group that. We'll call these uh, articles. And let's get rid of these folders. Let's see what else is there. We'll select these two, group them, and call this uh, the banner. So let's hide that, that looks good. Hide that, projects. Uh, let's move these two out of the projects folder and then delete the projects folder. All right, so got a nice clean file. Uh, it's good practice to uh, Keep up with that. Oh, where is the footer? Um, 
I accidentally deleted the footer. My bad. Let's redo what I did. Okay, there we go. So now the articles, pagination, footer, that's good. This would be banner. And let's bring it out of there. Hide the header, banner. All right, and delete the projects folder. Now we are good. Let's go ahead and hide these two. Cool. And let's save that as the articles page. Um, I'm not going to design the uh, posts or projects page because it's going to be the same as uh, this design. We're just gonna change out the content. All right, so now let's move on to the contact page.